Welcome back to Jaeger Pro. I'm Chad DeFratis. In the last segment, we killed 25 pigs and 13 fetuses using a mine trapping system. In this segment, we'll move a half mile east to remove another sounder. During a regular weekly scouting mission, fresh damage was located east of the food plot from last week's segment where we removed 25 pigs and 13 fetuses. A more detailed reconnaissance was conducted to reveal the pigs were using the thick cover adjacent to the food plot as a primary bedding area, shown here in red. We identified the primary trails leading from the bedding area to the food plot. Using this information, we identified the best location for a feeder. Seven hours after placing the feeder, the first pigs arrive and feed for an hour. We identify 12 adults as the target sounder. For the next four nights, we observe the sounder of 12 and notice three adult boars that mingle with the sounder of 12 with no particular pattern. These boars will not be included in the mission success due to their unpredictable nature. On the 25th, the enclosure is erected, but the pigs do not return for eight days. Finally, on the morning of April 2nd, the Sounder of 12 returns and cleans up the remaining bait. I return the following day to top off the feeder and hand bait a generous amount under the feeder. That evening at 8.15, the Sounder of 12 entered the enclosure, but only for a few minutes, and then return a half hour later. I allow them to feed for a while, hoping that I might capture the mature boars as bonus pigs. After 10 minutes and no sign of the boars, I close the gates using the Jaeger Pro app. The pigs are euthanized using a 22 caliber rifle. A well-placed shot to the brain is sufficient to quickly and humanely kill the pigs so they can be removed. They are then arranged for photos and recorded on the harvest efficiency report by age and sex. The end of mission assessment concludes with 12 of 12 target pigs removed for 100% mission success. The harvest efficiency report shows seven boars and five gilts, equaling 12 of 12, using two hours of labor for an average of 10 minutes per pig. The question is often asked, what happens with the boars that were not included in the capture? The answer is simple. They're added to a hit list and then removed later using shooting operations. They can often be found on other bait sites, adjacent food plots, or neighboring properties. So let's go to the hit list and see how that can be accomplished. This young boar was observed several times, feeding with the target sounder from last week's video. He's easily identified by the spot on his left eye. This black boar was also a regular at the same feeder in February. The third pig on the list is a spotted boar observed feeding with this week's target sounder of 12. He can be identified by the spot on his left cheek and left thigh. In all three cases, these boars disappeared after constructing the trap. On March 11th, I received a photo from an ice cam of a young black boar and brown sow. Since I was nearby, I knew it would only take a few minutes to drive there. Over the next few minutes, I continued to receive pictures as I drove closer. When I was close enough to close the distance on foot, I received a third picture. It's a hitless boar, the one with the left eye spot from January. This is a small food plot, and there won't be much time for follow-up shots, so I wait for an opportunity to line up two pigs for one shot. I get a good pass through that hits the second pig, but he's still running so I give him a second shot. I swing quickly to get ahead of the third one. I miss, but the second shot hits him just before he makes it to the brush. Here's another engagement from the evening of April 22nd. I received a photo from a food plot nearby with the adult black boar from the hit list. Unfortunately, when I arrive, he's gone. Luckily, I have time to wait and he returns a couple hours later. I slip into position and range the target at 90 meters. 
the first couple of shots aren't great, but he makes the mistake when he reaches the brush and he goes right when he should have went left and the third shot stops him in his tracks. He's photographed and recorded on the harvest efficiency report and scratched off the hit list. Next up is a board that appeared on camera on numerous occasions at the south end of the property. He disappeared from all cameras after a trap was constructed around the feeder that he was using in March. He spotted again on 8 May, one and a half miles north on a neighboring property. My partner and I move into position for a shot. The first shot's a hit, but he's still on his feet and he gets a quick follow-up shot to seal the deal. In this comparison, you can see the difference in color from a daylight photo and the ice camera's IR filter, but the pattern in his spots makes it easy to identify him, and one more boar is scratched off the hit list. Well, thank you for watching this week's episode of Jaeger Pro, the art and science of integrated wild pig control. Army trained, combat tested, farmer approved. We'll see you next week. Call or visit us on the web to purchase the latest equipment or learn more about the process and products needed to eliminate feral pig populations on your property. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel to view our entire instructional video series. Once online, keep clicking and like the Jaeger Pro Hall Control Systems Facebook page. If you have a story idea or just want to leave us a comment or suggestion, feel free to email us at info at